Hey guys, so today I just wanted to go a bit in depth about how, um, uh, this is more going to be more of an advanced tutorial, but it's like how to change facial expressions of a character or something, if you're going to be a bit more in depth with your composition work. Um, so, I've taken an example here that I used in um, an MP that I did like a month ago, I'll link it in the description if anyone wants to have a look. Um, but you can see here, a lot of things here have been changed. Um, so if I take it back to the original, I'm going to turn everything off. And we put the mouth back on. Like so it originally looked like this. Um, so what I did was I took the uh, paint tool, which is the brush tool up here. Um, I picked the color uh, of the mouth. Um, so you can do that by, uh, if you press here, and with the color. Yeah, if you and you press the eyedropper, to try and find an area around here. So I painted over that, like so. Um, then you needed a bit of a blur, I do believe. So I'm just trying to find where that was. So I don't know why I had it twice. I guess I needed it twice for some reason. Um, yeah, it's the same thing. So I took the paint, I painted over the top there, and then I put a bit of a blur on so you can't see. Because if you didn't have the blur on, I try doing that. But let's zoom in a bit. You can see here. There's a bit of a um, difference in color. So you definitely do need the blur on. If you do that, it sort of smudges everything out. You can't see anything much. What I also had to do was take reference from another uh, episode for the script for the uh, facial expression I wanted. So at first, I wanted this, and I was just going to use this, but then the um, the color wasn't right at all, and I tried using different modes, but it didn't work. So what I did was I think it was this one. No this one yeah so I literally just um, took a brush or I, uh, I think it was the pen tool this time actually and I put on Roto Bezier so we get these nice curves and then I uh, tried getting the, uh, the, 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 the the thickness of the line very small so we matched the amount that the shape was made and once we got there oh, my bad once we got there I had this and then I had to get rid of this little thing at the bottom here so I got that one as well and then all I did was turn this layer off because I didn't need it anymore and I think I believe I turned down the opacity a little bit because you only needed it a bit so I think that looks pretty good like that and then just for the final sort of um, thing that I wanted to do because I was trying to match it to another scene here where the eyes are glowing um, I tried uh, I put on like a just a white solid pretty much I think it was yeah it was just the shape white solid with a bit of glow some tints and a bit of blur on just to sort of match everything same with this one up here and so we have this final sort of scene here um, I've also been not sort of asked like how to, how would I animate the um, the mouth, the mouth uh, expression. Um, well, I haven't really tried that before, but uh, seeing as it is a, just a shape layer, um, we could go into here. We could put, put on our transform, put on exp um, and we could just keyframe the exposition, I believe, and we could just try and change it. I guess I don't know. Um, this is, you'll have to sort of figure this out for yourself as you go into it. Let me just try and get into it now. Uh, so let's say I want to just want to deal with it individually. So let's say by the end of it, I want the mouth to be a smile. And I know that probably looks really weird. How comes that's not changing? Mm. 
Show its contents. Shape. Uh, path. Oh, it's probably path, my bad. So we put this here, and then let's say I want it to be a smile right at the end. It's going to look very weird, I think. Uh, but let's have a look. Come on, why can I select the last point? This way, then. All right, so let's just try and see what happens with this now. I think it will change. All right, let's have a look. It's gonna be pretty weird. Um, but yeah, you just change mouth expressions by moving the p the, po uh, the points you have made via the path shape. So I don't know. It might look okay. We will see. And it, in the way, you, if you want your mouth to be more than just a simple line, then obviously you're going to have to draw them more just. <laughs> it probably looks a bit weird actually, to be honest. Um, but yeah, actually, that could be kind of creepy. Oh, it's, it's alright, I guess. I don't know. I and mean, maybe you want to move the little bottom thing here as well. Uh, just sort of try and match the face. <laughs> makes me laugh um, but yeah if you have more than just simple eyes you have a mouth to show then maybe you want to take reference from something else um, so for example if I wanted to show like a sinister grin then maybe I take reference oh god you can see all my last stuff here maybe I take reference from a different anime so um Try and find a good scene that I know has a really sort of evil smile. And don't judge me for watching this show, it's really good. Just trying to find a good scene of it in. Because there's a really sort of evil smile somewhere here. Oops, maybe come around here. Maybe episode 4. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's another like this. Yeah. Just turn the volume off. Uh, if any of you haven't watched the show, it's really good. And I know it may not be right for some, but it's brilliant for me. Oh, okay, that was a perfect scene there. So you might want to take like a reference like this. You're gonna to have to look at which anime um, you do it with as well. Um, but you could sort of draw out potentially something like this, and sort of have the have it come and zooming in sort of close like that, and just draw out the points like so, and try and match it more to your character. And you could make something really good there. And um, Somewhat original, no, not yeah. It will be sort of original to your tone. Um, so the main thing I want to preach with this whole tutorial is think a bit more originally in terms of uh, when you edit. Don't just uh, copy things that people have done, or um, don't just think of the same ideas over and over again, or use the same scenes over and over again. You know, if you're going to use the same scenes, maybe try using them in a different way. So, you know, here you've seen I've uh, tried changing the facial expressions of things, um, tried matching it to different scenes just to uh, get it looking better like it was. And I probably could have um, gone in and changed this scene here actually and made it fit overall, but I think I was rushing a bit in that time. Uh, just trying to see if there's any other changes I made here. No, I don't think so. Do those eyes glowing and stuff. Um, and this is what the scene. No, never mind. I'm just babbling on. Um, yeah, that's the basic way how to change expressions. Um, obviously, you can change all parts of the face if you really want to. Uh, you can change your nose and everything. Um, you can definitely just mess around with everything in terms of facial expressions. Uh, that way you can get really unique looking to your uh, A and B. 
and I hope it's going on way too long now. But yeah, uh, I'll be back with another tutorial uh, soonish, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Unless, uh, yeah, if you guys want anything else, just give me a shout. Uh, I'll give a, put a comment down in the description, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.